Hello, I'm Carissa Colasiopo, Holistic Lifestyle Mentor. This video is going to be mostly about opening the hips and the low back as so many people have this issue. One of the many things that I do with my clients is body work, so let me show you some things. So the hips are the foundation for the low back, right? So opening the hips is going to help the low back in turn. There's a few things I like to do. This is one of them, just sitting like a butterfly and stretching forward and leaning into that. Sometimes I'll kind of wiggle back and forth and try to keep a straight back as much as possible. Um, for people that are very inflexible, I think you probably will just be like this with your uh, legs out even further. And that's totally fine. As long as you feel the stretch, then you're in the right position. Okay, and just hold that as long as you'd like. The longer the better, basically. Another stretch that I like to do to open the hips is kind of like a version of pigeon if you know yoga poses. <clears throat> but you do it on your back. And there's many ways you could do this, but my favorite way that I've learned recently in a yoga class is doing it on the wall or a door, like this. So you just position yourself as close as you can, and that will depend on your flexibility. The closer you are to the wall, the deeper the stretch you're going to get. So you just have to feel your body and feel where you need to go and cross legs and then What's great about the wall's help is that you're not having to use your abdominals so much to help you in the stretch. And then you could use your energy more for pulling your knee out, which will help pull the hip out. And you can even self-massage the thigh moving outward. That'll help loosen the hips, which will help your low back. And flexing your foot is good. Sometimes I'll wiggle it. You can wiggle back and forth. And you hold that for as long as you can, a minute or two would be good. Really, until you feel the stretch waning, and then you switch. Another very important component to uh, low back and hip area health is strengthening. This is something that people forget about. So a lot of times people have low back issues just because they're weak, they have a weak core. So doing bird dogs is a great uh, way. So I'll just demonstrate. And there's many ways you could do that. So I'll just show you. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to hit the wall or the door, but you just, uh, it's all about balance, which will strengthen your core and that will help your low back if you do it enough. So that's what that looks like. Just like that. I'm going to do it a few times. You get, you know, the better you get at it, the faster you get. Um, and there's different versions of that. You can know that's called bird dogs or you could um, do it more like this, which is what I learned in Pilates a long time ago. Where you, you just kind of like Superman. And then you try to hold your core as steady as possible so that you're not looking like this so much. <laughs> you don't want to go so fast that you can't uh, stay stable in your core. So. It just it should look more like this and always try to focus on holding your shoulders back and down as much as possible It's very um, normal for all of us like myself included to kind of go like this when we're doing any of these kinds of things on the floor um, even doing downward facing dog you don't want to overextend the shoulders high that's going to um, go into the neck so helping the neck would would be more positioning your shoulders back and down as much as possible, which is easier said than done. You have to really engage your mind in the whole activity, not just your body, So, which, which is great because it becomes um, more of a mind-body um, approach to opening your hips, opening your low back, strengthening, and helping your overall health, which in turn helps everything. It helps your mood. It helps your outlook on life and just helps you feel better and healthier in your body, which keeps your vibration high, your attitude to life in general on a higher level, 
which affects your life choices that you're going to therefore make in all areas of life. So this is how our body health really affects the whole um, overall abundance of our, our lifestyle that we're choosing and creating every single day. I do many things with my clients. I'm a massage therapist, body worker. I am a hypnotherapist, a life coach, and a Reiki master. So I utilize all these tools in my toolbox to help my clients as needed um, for whatever they're going through, both emotionally and physically. If you'd like to contact me, if you have any questions, or if you'd like to book a session, you can look me up on holistictouchmassage.com, book a discovery call, or you could just text me and I can point you in the right direction for the session for you. Okay, happy healing everyone. Thank <laughs> you.